Our approach is to have the patient see a genetics counselor that will make a three generation family tree, get all the information they can about the incidence of various cancers in that family, and then there are various mathematical models that will then answer the question, what is this particular family's risk of carrying that gene? If it's very, very low, one or two percent, generally we would not advise gene testing. On the other hand, if it's at least five or ten percent, and in many patients' families higher than that, gene testing is certainly indicated. The genetic test is a blood test, so it's simple for the patient, and when the result comes back, the genetics counselor meets with the patient, and if they're negative, then, for instance, that patient does not have an increased risk of ovarian cancer, and oftentimes is in the throes of making a decision about mastectomy versus lumpectomy, and if gene negative, one feels much more comfortable that lumpectomy may be a reasonable decision. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.